Hi, I'm Rachel Polito. I'm a physical therapist here at PTS in Dyersville, and today we're going to talk about shoulder replacement surgery. So a shoulder replacement is less common than a hip replacement or a knee replacement. Um, in fact, they say that only about 53,000 of them are done per year. I think knee replacements is somewhere almost in the, towards 1 million per year. So it's definitely not as common. Uh, but it can be a really effective surgery for people who have really severe arthritis in their shoulder, uh, if they have a really severe shoulder fracture, or if they have a rotator cuff that isn't able to be repaired and they can't use their arm. Um, so there's two types of shoulder replacement surgeries. So let's just talk about the anatomy of the shoulder real quick. Uh, so your shoulders is a ball and socket joint. So this is your arm bone called your humerus, that's the ball. And then this is your shoulder blade, and the end of your shoulder blade here is the socket. And so in a normal shoulder replacement, what they'll do is they take off the damaged parts of the bone and they put in a new metal joint. Um, so you're, you can either get a new ball, you can get a new socket, or you can get both, depending on how bad your arthritis is. Um, there's another type of shoulder replacement surgery called a reverse total shoulder. And what they do for that is they actually flip the anatomy of the shoulder. So your, your shoulder blade actually becomes the ball and your arm bone becomes the socket. And the reason that they do that is because then your deltoid muscle, which is over here, can help to lift the arm. And the reason why they do that is if your rotator cuff is totally not able to work and they can't fix it, they reverse that uh, anatomy of the shoulder, that way another muscle can take over the job of that rotator cuff and you can still be able to lift your arm. Uh, so typically people who have this surgery are in a sling for four weeks. Uh, they usually start PT pretty early because it's good to get that shoulder moving so it doesn't get stiff, so it doesn't get frozen. Um, and then it's usually kind of a gradual process of restoring your range of motion and your strength so you can use your arm normally the way you did before you had surgery. If you have any questions about a total shoulder, you can give us a call at the Dyersville or Manchester Clinic, or you can visit our website. Uh, thanks for listening today.